In this problem, we are given the description of a pipe that has a pressure difference on each end of the pipe of 1.0 atmospheres, or 1.0 times 10 to the fifth power of pascals. We are also told that the pipe has a diameter of 13 millimeters, but as we will see in a few moments, that detail ends up being kind of irrelevant. The point is, we are asked to find the amount of work required uh, to push a volume of 1.4 cubic meters through that pipe. Now, according to Bernoulli's equation, where there's a difference in pressure, there's a difference of speed. And if there's a difference in speed, that means an acceleration is taking place somewhere. So we can be sure that there is some work happening here. So let's consult our formula for the amount of work. Now the common formula given is that work is equal to force multiplied by the displacement along which a certain mass or an object is moving. In this case, the 1.4 cubic meters volume of water. Right now, this formula seems kind of unhelpful because the problem doesn't actually give us any clues as to the displacement along which the volume of water is being moved. And in turn, we're not given any information about the acceleration either, so we can't easily find the force being applied. But if we were to apply some mathematical chicanery to this, we can see that there is a way to express this in terms of variables we have. For example, if we uh, divide f by a and multiply this by uh, a times d, notice that this is mathematically equal to the original work expression because these two capital A's here should cancel out. However, if we take capital A to refer to a cross-sectional area, then all of a sudden this can be written in terms of variables we do have, because force divided by a cross-sectional area is equal to pressure, or a pressure difference, and uh, the displacement along which the water is moving multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the pipe through which that fluid is moving is just going to be equal to the volume of the fluid we're trying to move in the first place. So now, all that's left to do is to plug in the pressure difference and the volume of water that we're given in the problem. Multiplying uh, the pressure difference, uh, 1.0 times 10 to the fifth power of pascals times the volume of the water, 1.4 cubic meters, gets us an amount of work of 1.4 times 10 to the power of 5 joules.